Hi, I'm Sam, and today I'm going to be sharing with you all about the Arizona EVA shoe. These shoes are actually ones that I wear quite a bit in the summertime, so I'm going to be talking about why I like them, what my thoughts are, how to style them, and also how they compare to the regular cork sold Birkenstock. If this is your first time on my channel, welcome. I hope that you will hit that subscribe button down below if you like what you see. I put out new videos every single Wednesday. Often they are on fashion, travel, lazy girl beauty, lazy girl health, that type of thing. If you've been here before, thank you so much for your continued support and clicking on this video. So without further ado, let's start talking about what I like about these shoes. You may have noticed I actually own these shoes in two different colors. I have the black pair, which I purchased first. These ones I've had for almost two years now. And then the white pair that I purchased at the beginning of this summer. So my first impression when I got these shoes was that they are very similar to the original Birkenstock in the way that they fit in some of the support that you'll see. If you look on the inside of the shoe, it's molded quite similarly to the cork version. Still has the classic Birkenstock tread on the bottom, if you can see that on camera. And of course, the adjustable straps. One thing I always had an issue with, with the regular Birkenstocks, is that you can't get them wet. And for me, summer means going to the beach, it means in Ontario, where I'm from, going to the lake, and I would always find that I was worried about destroying the Birkenstocks that I had when I was growing up, because I would go swimming and then I'd put them on and I'd feel like I was just gonna wreck them. With these guys, you can actually just like go straight into the water and it doesn't matter at all. Initially with these shoes, I will admit I did get blisters just because they are a little bit tougher. Um, I find that I get blisters with pretty much any shoe that I wear at first though, so it's kind of to be expected until my feet get used to them. I did fear with a plastic shoe that obviously it's not going to soften up like a leather would. Excuse me, sorry, I used to manage a shoe store, so my technical terms about shoes, I'll try and watch them but a leather shoe is gonna soften up with your foot. And then a plastic shoe obviously doesn't have the same kind of give in it, but these are made of a soft enough material. It's kind of like spongy and foamy that it's not going to just like constantly be cutting into your foot. If you've ever experienced where you buy like a fake leather shoe that's super plasticky, like something from Forever 21, those will just like cut into you forever and these luckily i did not have that experience with them i'd say compared to your regular birkenstocks which retail at like 150 dollars definitely over 100 dollars canadian buying this version that comes in just around 50 55 dollars is a really great way to get that look for a lot less if you're after the style i know they've been trendy for the past couple of years Personally, I didn't want to spend over $100 on a summer sandal, so getting a pair of these, actually, I guess I did spend that much money because I bought two pairs, but still, getting a pair of these is a more affordable way to have that Birkenstock trend and get that style. Before I actually purchased the Birkenstock brand EVA sandals, I decided to buy a cheap pair from Target in the States. I know, I cheaped out. I thought, you know, it's a plastic sandal. I could just get the same one for $3 or $5, however much they were selling them for. And what I found with those shoes is that they actually cracked right here in the toe area. So I'm assuming it's because they do have a lot of pressure put on that joint but with my Birkenstocks and like I said I've had this pair for a year I haven't noticed kind of any signs that they could be breaking or cracking everything was pretty much exactly the same as it was when I bought them so I definitely think even though you're paying about $50 for a sandal that's essentially plastic 
to go with the name brand and go with the Birkenstocks is worth it over just cheaping out on a pair that is going to get trashed and get destroyed super quickly. Obviously, these Birkenstocks are not the most attractive or fancy shoe. It's not something I would wear to a fancy dinner out. It's not something that you're going to want to wear to the club. Not that anyone's going to the club these days, but you know what I'm saying. However, they are super comfortable. They are great to go with a variety of different looks, and I find that super valuable in a shoe. All of my more like casual styles, I really like it when they look good with dresses and with skirts particularly because those are something that I will wear throughout the summer, especially this summer for me has been like the summer of the house dress. So having a shoe that goes really, really well with a dress that, you know, could be a little bit more formal if you say wore it with heels. I find is a really nice way to make something a little bit more wearable for summer. And that's one of the reasons why I got this white pair, because I find that they look super nice with light denim, they look super nice with any of my dresses that I'm wearing for summer. And I'll insert some photos so that you guys can see some of the ways that I've styled these Birkenstocks with dresses. But that is honestly one of my favorite ways to wear them. And then of course, you can also wear them just with denim shorts or with jeans. As I mentioned, I can wear these shoes if I'm like on a camping trip, if I am at the beach, if I'm walking my dog around the block, they're comfortable for all of those things. But then I can also just put on a nicer day dress for the summertime and then they still look good with that outfit. And I feel fine like taking photos, putting them on my Instagram. They're stylish enough right now that they're very versatile. If you're thinking between getting the black ones and the white ones, Honestly, I actually wear my white ones more and I think it's just because they are more summery with these I just find that it kind of goes more with my overall vibe and the colors that I'm wearing in the summertime and The black ones obviously they're classic can't go wrong. They still do go with everything But I honestly do reach for the white ones a little bit more I'd say in terms of sizing as well, I found that I am a 41 in Birkenstocks. I've been a 41 or a size 10 women's shoe since I was like, I don't know for how long, for a very long time. My feet grew really quickly. I'm quite tall, you know. I'm still a 41 in a regular Birkenstock. I'm a 41 in these Birkenstocks and that's typically the shoe size that I wear. So I do find that they are quite true to size. I also purchased a pair of the black EVA Birkenstocks for my fiance and he wears his all the time as well. Same thing, just in the regular size of what he always wears. So that is, you know, another vote of confidence for those shoes. They're his favorite sandals in the summertime. The other thing that I love about these sandals is how easy they are to clean, particularly when it comes to this white pair. So if you have had any type of like white shoes before, you know around the edges they get dirty so, so quickly and normally that just kills me. I love shoes to be like clean and pristine and look super nice and like the day they came out of the box as much as possible. So with these guys, when I first got them, I was like, oh shoot, I wore them once. I like got black marks all over them. I kind of slide my feet sometimes when I'm walking and I'll like get the toes caught on the sidewalk and I have like black all over the front of the toes. I brought these when I went to Toronto. I brought them traveling with me and they, I wore them biking and I just got black like all over the inside from the bike and from the gears and everything. It was terrible. I didn't think that I was going to be able to get them clean again, but what I ended up doing is just using like a household cleaner and spraying like my kitchen sink and like bathroom cleaner on them and just using a sponge and I was able to get them completely clean. And I do that, you know, like every couple of weeks when they start to get a little bit dirty or if I've used them and like 
gotten them particularly dirty for some reason. They are, I don't know if you guys can see that, but they're a little bit more yellow than maybe they, they were when I first bought them, but not much. And honestly, in pictures, they still look like quite white. So happy about that. Another really nice feature of this particular shoe is how light they are. So when you're traveling, if you're packing them, they are like, they're light as air, honestly. It's really great for when you're putting them in a suitcase. I feel like you can squish them down quite easily and you're not going to hurt the shoe. So these are always shoes that I take with me when I'm going on vacation. Obviously, we're not really going to be getting on planes anytime soon, but even if you're just going around locally, that makes it easier if you can pack them without too much effort. Thank you so much for watching this video and hearing all about my review on the EVA Birkenstocks. I hope it was helpful if you're thinking about purchasing them or you just wanted a little bit more information about what they're like in this material. And if you have any other questions or there's something else you're wondering, please feel free, just leave a note for me down in the comments and I will get back to you with my opinion or my answer as quick as I can. And if you haven't already, please take the time, subscribe to my channel, ding that bell so that you get notifications. I am hoping to get to at least 100 subscribers by the end of the summer. So I know that you guys can help me make that happen. Thanks again so much for watching and I'll see you next Wednesday with my new video. Bye!